Welcome to Unit 2, Video 4. Oh, we're going to talk here about reference angles with radians. So if you've already watched the reference angles with degrees, um, we are looking for angles and we are referring back to angles that are less than uh, 90 degrees. And um, let's go ahead and review. So here in radians, our angles are between 0 and pi over 2. So that's going to put us somewhere in this range because 90 degrees is pi over 2. Um, so you want to make sure you can always check that if you actually have a reference angle that it's less than a half. Um, and that's, that's a key to this. So um, let's go ahead and review that this is 0 or 2 pi radians, pi over 2, pi, and here is 3 pi over 2. So when we're defining our quadrants, this should help us know which quadrant we're talking about with which angle. So angles with reference angle of pi over 3, because pi over 3 is 1 third pi, so it is less than um, a half a pi, um, is any multiple except the quadrantals. So any multiple of pi over 3 except the quadrantals for example we have 2 thirds pi we have 4 thirds pi 5 thirds pi and so on. Now I skipped three-thirds and I would skip six-thirds because those are um, pi and two pi which are our quadrantal angles so you will end up skipping some of the multiples but anytime you see a two-thirds, four-thirds, five-thirds, seven-thirds um, you'll notice that those are the reference angles of pi over three. So kind of a different strategy than what we had done before. Angles with a reference angle of pi over four are any multiple oops this should say pi over 3 guys sorry of pi over 4 except our quadrantals so that would give us 3 pi over 4 now I'm skipping 2 pi over 4 because 2 pi over 4 is pi over 2 it's exactly 90 degrees and we can't have an angle that is equal to 90 it's not acute um, so 3 pi over 4 um, 5 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, and that continues. Again, we would skip 8 pi over 4 because that is a quadrantal angle. Angles with a reference angle of pi over 6. Um, so these would be any multiple of pi over 6 except our quadrantals. And this one's got an extra um, thing in this. All of the angles um, re must reduce, um, or I'm sorry, except quadrantal angles, angle or angles that reduce to a multiple of pi over 3, because then it would have a reference angle of pi over 3. So let's get, give me some examples here. I'm going to go. I'm going to go all the way from five uh, from pi over six to five pi over six. Now I'm not doing two pi over six because that reduces to a third. I'm not going to do three pi over six because that reduces to a half. Four pi over six reduces to two -third thirds pi. So I'm at five pi over six. So this one you're going to skip a whole bunch more than seven pi over six. I'm not going to do 8, not going to do 9, not going to do 10. All of those reduce. So the next one is 11 pi over 6. So I'm choosing ones that do not reduce to a multiple that's a quadrantal angle or a multiple of pi over 3. So I can continue that list as well. So for other angles, let's first consider what quadrant the angle's in. So 7 tenths pi. I'm going to imagine that 7 tenths here, okay, it's greater than a half, mm, all right, but it's less than a whole. So it's greater than a half, but less than a whole. I'm going to add pi on that, okay, and that means 
that this angle, if it's greater than a half and, and less than a whole, is in quadrant 2. So in quadrant 2, I've got the angle 7 tenths pi. So my reference angle, this is very similar to when we did it with degrees. My reference angle here, whew, goodness, sorry, is 3 tenths pi. Okay, let's try it with 8 sevenths pi. 8 sevenths pi is greater than 1. It's greater than a whole pi. Um, it's certainly not even close to 2. It's only slightly bigger than, um, than 1 pi. So this puts this angle in quadrant 3. So here's the angle, made it over there into quadrant 3. So how did we find the reference angle? The reference angle here is going back up to a whole pi, so that would leave us with 1 seventh pi or pi over 7. Okay, that's the difference there to get back up to the x-axis. Okay, I'm going to try one more here with you, and then I'm going to suggest that you go ahead and try 4, 5, and 6 on your own. So number 3, 8 pi over 5, definitely greater than 1, okay, but where does it fall? Is it in quadrant 2 or is it in, or quadrant 3 or quadrant 4? Okay, so you can compare this to, um, to 3 over 2 pi and decide if it's greater or less than 3 over 2 pi. And the way to do that is to make them have a common denominator and then compare their numerators. So the common denominator would be 10, which means this would be 16 tenths pi. And I'd multiply this one by 5, and that would give me 15 tenths pi. So this is actually greater than 3 pi over 2, which leaves it in quadrant 4. So here's this angle all the way around in quadrant 4, which means to find a reference angle in quadrant 4, you're going to have to go this way to the x-axis. You always go the shortest way to the x-axis. Well, to complete two rotations of this, so 2 pi would be 10 over 5, so the difference would be 2 fifths pi is the reference angle, 2 fifths pi radians. That one was a little bit tough, so maybe you want to watch that again or, or really consider what I'm talking about when I say to find a common denominator in order to compare the numerators. But I'd like you to go ahead and give 4, 5, and 6 a try, and we're going to talk about those first thing tomorrow.